going to show you a basic installation of the Easy Flow product that will get you started on installing a gravel-free French drain. Before starting any kind of digging, be sure you know what's underneath the areas to be dug up. In most areas, calling 811 will get you to the right folks who can come out and mark the location of utility lines on your property as shown in this clip. You can also call the local utility to have them come out. Be sure to call cable, water sewer storm, gas, phone, and electric. In this particular residence, the homeowner had no gutters on their new house, and the water was running off the roof and directly onto their foundation, and then creating standing water problems near the house that needed to be fixed. The homeowner did install gutters, but wanted additional drainage protection to protect the house. Easy Flow is a gravel-free French drain product that can be used to capture surface water, carry it away from the house, and then allow it to slowly percolate into the soil away from the house. To get started, you're going to need to determine how much water is running into the problem drainage area. NDS provides a calculator on the website that can help you determine this number. Here's how it works. Input the total area draining off the house. Estimate the square footage of the roof that slopes toward the problem area only in square feet. In this case, 650 square feet. Then, look up your 100-year rainfall on the provided map. This residence is located in an area where they get one inch of rainfall per hour. The calculator will show you the different EasyFlow product solutions available, 7-inch, 10-inch, and 15-inch diameters. Once you select the product you want to use, the calculator will tell you how many feet you need. In this case, looks like we need 45 feet of the 10-inch diameter product. Now that you know where to safely dig and how much product you'll need, you're going to need a few tools. For this particular installation, we need the following. Five pieces of EasyFlow, four corrugated coupling connectors, internal or external will work. In this instance, we're using internal couplings. Shovels for digging or a trencher, rakes for cleanup, Utility knife for cutting Easy Flow to size it properly, zip ties for tying off Easy Flow when you cut it, and end caps, two of them. Now that we've determined how much product we need and we have all of our tools, we need to start digging. The trench should be dug 10 feet away from the foundation of the house. Before digging, carefully remove the top layer of turf for use later. Dig a trench that measures 45 feet long, 11 inches wide and 16 inches deep with a 1% slope or an eighth of an inch per foot. To learn more about slopes, see our technical document on how to determine trench slope. Now that the trench has been dug, lay out your Easy Flow product along the outside ridge of the trench and assemble using the corrugated couplings and the end caps. This particular installation requires 45 feet of Easy Flow, which means we need to make a cut. To cut Easy Flow, locate the spot that needs the cut and move the aggregate material up on either side to be cut. Tie off each end with a zip tie, then use your utility knife to cut through the fabric and the pipe. Now that the trenches have been dug and Easy Flow has been assembled, place Easy Flow into the trench. Step softly on the Easy Flow to ensure proper placement to the bottom of the trench. Backfill the soil and replace the sod. Use a rake to clean up any soil debris. So there you have it. That may seem like a lot of digging, but it will protect your yard and house from water damage in the future. Also, using Easy Flow is going to save a lot of back-breaking hauling of heavy gravel. Check out the Dare to Compare video versus traditional French drains to see what I mean. For more than 30 years, NDS has been a leader in stormwater management solutions for the residential and non-residential market. For more information on our other stormwater drainage solutions and special offers, go to ndspro.com.